here's a another exponential growth problem. There's students always struggle with these for one reason or another, but it's not bad to see a bunch of examples. So we get we're given just a really tiny amount of information. The half life of BR seventy seven is fifty seven hours. So it says if the initial amount is one hundred and fifty grams, find the amount remaining after one hundred and seventy one hours. Now one hundred and seventy one is can be divided evenly by 57. So this one can be very quickly calculated with using a chart. So with my students, again, this semester we've been saying, well, it's it's best if you do work with a chart because it makes the creation of the exponential functions basically the same every single time. So you don't think you're doing you're memorizing 100 different things. So in this case, we have time. And then we have BR77. I'm just going to do BR. I'm not going to put the 77. Time is in hours. And this guy is grams. All right, initially, it tells me I have 150 grams. And in 57 hours, I should have half of that, 75. Now, if I do another 57 hours, That's going to be 114. So after another 57 hours, I should have half of 75. So 75 divided by 2, 37.5. <clears throat> and another 57 hours, I'm at that magical 171. And I should have half of 37.5. eighteen point seven five. So if the initial amount is 115, find the amount remaining after 171 hours and you would say eighteen point seven five grams. Always answer the question that they pose. Don't just put the chart and assume that whoever's reading or grading your paper is going to know where to look. You tell them where to look. B says, write an equation to predict the amount remaining after t hours. So what if the number of hours we're working is, isn't a fraction or a partial of 57, like 171 is? So we need to write an equation. So a generic equation of exponential is y equals a b to the t. We're going to use our variables here. So uh, b r is equal to a b to the t. Capital A stands for initial amount, so that's 150. And then I'm going to use any other ordered pair to come up with my value for B. So I'll just use the next one. So there's 75 grams of BR77 after 57 hours. Now I'm going to continue to solve for B. So I'm going to divide both sides by 175. That leaves me with 1 half equals B to the 57. Take the raised to both sides to the power of 1 over 57. That turns out to be 1. And then I have b is exactly equal to 1 half raised to the 1 over 57. Now a lot of times in class um, I just have them approximate that with four decimals, but just for fun I'm just going to leave it in its exact value. So in our case br is equal to 150 1 half raised to the 1 over 57 raised to the t. Now understanding our rules of exponents, if I want to simplify this, I just multiply 1 over 57 times t, which simplifies to t over 57. So my final formula will be br is equal to 150 1 half raised to the t over 57. Just a little different. I don't care if you approximate b 1 half raised to the 1 over 57, it turns out to be, let's see, let's just see what it is. 1 half raised to the 1 over 57. If you use that number rounded to four decimals, you're fine. Don't round it to two decimals, at least a minimum of four decimals in order to keep your answer accurate to some degree of accuracy. 
So here's our equation to predict the number remaining after t hours, right there. All right. Now it says estimate within one hour how long it will take for the amount to, to decrease to 10 grams. So 10 grams is applying the amount of BR77 we have, so that's going to be this number. So that'll be 10, and I need to find T. So 10 is equal to 150 times 1 half T over 57, and I just solve for T. T is in the power. The only way I can get that T out of the power is using logarithms. Uh, as per what I always do, I'm going to divide both sides by 150. So 10 divided by 150 is equal to 1 half raised to the t over 57. Now this simplifies very nicely to 1 over 15. I'm going to take at this point the natural log of both sides in order to bring this t down out of the power. So this becomes t over 57 times the natural log of 1 half. To continue to solve for t, I'm going to divide both sides by the natural log of 1 half. So I have, whoops, sorry guys, sorry, I'll move it, sorry. Natural log of 1 over 15 divided by natural log of 1 half is equal to t over 57. Now then to further solve for t, multiply both sides by 57. In the end I have, I'm going to move up here. T is equal to 57 times the natural log of 1 over 15 divided by the natural log of 1 half. Now it says estimate, so we're going to put this in our calculator and round it off. And the unit of measure here was initially hours, so it's still hours. So let's approximate it. Notice I didn't use my calculator to the end. Again, it's a matter of accuracy. Every time you use your calculator and estimate, you're compounding um, error over and over and over. So natural log 1 over 15, natural log of 1 half, uh, 222.6928 hours. So the question says, estimate within one hour how long it will take the amount to decrease to 10 grams. I'd say about, sorry, my handwriting can be terrible, 222 point, uh, just 223 hours. There we go.